Hey guys, how's it going? DragWix55 here, and today we're doing the Elemental Hero deck. Uh, basically, uh, Stratos is banned and stuff, so it's not as great as it could be if Stratos was unbanned. And it's also way before the time of the new Elemental Heroes, so it's still not as great as it could be now. So, anyways. So here's Elemental Heroes. Uh, first off, we have three Bubble Man. Uh, basically, uh, its thing is you can special summon it if it's the only card in your hand. And if you have no cards on the field, you draw two cards. Now, the second part you don't really care about. But the first part where you can special summon it when you have no cards, it's pretty nice because you would summon like Alias. And then you just like set everything and then special summon Bubble Man. And then obviously you would exceed into something that we have here. And then, uh, where was this at? Okay. And then you pretty much do some more shenanigans. Or even you can do like a super poly or a uh, miracle fusion, wherever that's hiding at in this deck. So, oh, it's right next to Bubble Man. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. So basically you're making rank sixes or fusing up, so. Next up, we have the, like, the main elemental hero you're probably going to go for. If not, you're going for Bubble Man. And that's pretty much uh, elemental hero Neos Alias. Uh, it is a Gemini monster. The effect that it has does not matter to us at all. Basically, it's there to be a 1900 feeder. Also, uh, another note is uh, Gemini Spark. It's pretty nice to use with that card. So that's also another bonus I don't know it's just something that people I've seen nowadays play uh, heroes to use Gemini Spark to get more cards so uh, and it's not too bad um, as Bubble Man was explained you basically make rank fours you miracle synchro f or miracle miracle sync miracle fusion and you just make fusions and stuff like that. Also, you can use um, Hero Blast on it when it's in the grave, which will basically get rid of most monsters that come out on the field. So, it's pretty nice. Uh, basically, you want to try to get one of these in the grave at least, as quickly as possible. And then, once you do that, you'll be pretty much set throughout the rest of the duel. Well, as long as you have cards to back yourself up too, so. Yeah, so you want to try to get one of these in the grave from what I've experienced, and yeah. Uh, so next up we have one Noble Knight, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, basically if you totally light normal monster, you special summon this card for your hand in face up defense. Now it's kind of picky because this is the only light normal monster that you can do it to. But that's pretty much a good amount of targets. If you don't like this card, I would switch it to Photon Thrasher. Because the Photon Thrasher can basically kind of do the same thing. It's just this one. Like, you can control when you use this. Unlike this one where you have to control no monsters. So, that's pretty nice. Um, yep, anyways. Uh, next up we have Photon ton thrasher if you control no monsters you can special summon this from your hand and it has to be first special summoned I guess which I haven't noticed a difference because I don't believe I could bring it back from the grave call the haunted but yeah I guess it has to be first special summon from the hand uh anything else I need to talk about in following this card not really uh, it's a 2100 beater it beats down certain monsters that your opponent might have so it's pretty nice and after you special summon it gets like mirror force you can summon out like alias and then go with the set poly super poly or even go for the thunder king basically if you haven't noticed this deck is more like a lockdown kind of thing where you have to try to stun your opponent well I guess not lock but stun your opponent from doing some more shenanigans than they should be uh, next up we have Thunder King. Basically we have this to stop your opponent from adding stuff. 
And, uh, yeah, you can stop a special summon, but I believe it's very picky on which ones it negates, so. Uh, I think, I think it only stops ones that aren't brought out by effects, so. Things like Shiny Angel are fine. It doesn't negate it. But if you have, like, Judge and Dragon, I believe it can negate it. Next up, we have a Book of Moon. Just turn something face down. Uh, I believe Miracle Fusion. <sighs> a little tired. And Super Poly works even if your card's face down. So that's pretty much of a bonus. So it's not too bad to have it. Uh, but that's, I think it works like that, but we'll find out in the videos. One like do the duels. Uh, next up is 3 E Call. You add an elemental hero to your hand. Not too much to say. Uh, I would definitely add one alias at least. And then add a Bubble Man. If you had two Bubble Man in hand, it kind of becomes a problem. Because you can't special summon it then. So keep that in mind. Uh, next up, we have 3 Gemini Sparks, which is pretty nice. Because what you would do is if your card, let's say, Alias is getting destroyed by battle or something, you would do the Gemini Spark as a quick play, because it is a quick play, and destroy whatever you're trying to get at, or the other back row your opponent has or something. Because you get to destroy a card and draw a card, so. And with Elements of Heroes, without Stratos and whatever, it's definitely important that you need to get some more draw engine in there. Ooh. Next up we have mind control. Pretty nice if you take control of uh, rank 4 or a level 4 monster your opponent controls or just something based down to finish them off. Pretty good. Uh, 3 miracle fusions is a must in elemental hero decks. Uh, in this deck we're not running polymerizations or Elemental Hero Woodsman because I don't know, it's not really needed. It slows down the deck. I mean, with Stratos, it kind of worked a little bit better. But with this, I mean, all you really need is Ocean or Bubble Man and Alias. So, I mean, I guess you could play Ocean if you felt like it instead of the certain stuff, but you know. Uh, keep in mind, once you, if you draw like a hand of Three Boba Man, three uh, alias. This becomes a dead draw, so yeah, it's kind of a problem. Uh, and we already discussed this. Uh, next up, we have three Mystical Space. Definitely need it for getting rid of back row. Uh, pod duality, you reveal three and add one to your hand. Uh, keep in mind, you cannot special summon during the turn you activate it. So most likely, you're gonna either add alias or the Gemini Spark. If those aren't options, then add whatever else. And then, like a Super Poly, you could just set it. If it's like, um... And a good thing with Super Poly is because when you discard, you can send uh, E-Calls if they're already dead. Like, if you've already gone through all your heroes. But you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't go through them that quickly, but I could be wrong. Uh, so yeah, uh, Bulba Mans are nice, but they, I don't know, depends on the situation. Uh, one reinforcement of the army, uh, pretty much everything except this is a warrior, so you can just pretty much add anything here. Uh, next up we have three super polys, definitely needed, in my opinion at least, maybe if you just run two, that'd be fine too. And basically you discard a card and you fusion summon a monster. And basically it cannot be chained to. Like you can't your opponent can't go, oh well well let me think about this real quick. Uh I believe they can still dark bribe this. I think. I don't think I don't believe they can, but I I I don't know exact rulings. I believe they can't, but I believe they can at the same time. Uh, but anything like, um, like Mystical Space Typhoon or Mirror Force, or 
Well, maybe not mirror. It's just random stuff that can activate. That just can't activate in response to this card's activation, so. Yeah. And basically you bring out a fusion out of like any of these. One bottomless, it banishes stuff, one Kapalus, bounce something back to the hand, three hero blast. Um Yeah, it's pretty good. Because when you because this is where the alias comes into play. Because you just summon alias and then when it goes to the grave, you can activate this when your opponent summons something and bring back alias to your hand. And let me explain how this works a little bit. You can destroy one monster equal to or less than the attack of an elemental hero normal monster that you have in your grave. Most people play this like Neos, the actual Neos, but it still works with the 1900 one so it can stop like exceeds and stuff. Uh, and also it just gives you more support and more recycling power. Uh, next up we have two Mirror Force. It's pretty good. If you feel the need, use 2D Prison instead. Uh, double Skill Drain is just something that is nice that I saw in a video that they just teched it in. Uh, pretty much the only thing it negates is obviously Thunder King, Bubble Man, Straw 2 effect, and Shining's ability to gain attack. And pretty much like a lot of the exceeds, but other than that, you know, you're pretty good off. Because it's absolutely zero activates in the grave. Uh, well this one's negated too then. And this one. But shining, so gets an effect in the grave. Uh, and that's pretty much it on the topic of skill drain. And it pretty much stuns your opponent for long enough, so. Yeah, it's pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, one torrential blows up the blows up monsters and stuff, so it's all good. That's pretty much it for the main deck. Let's go into the side deck or extra deck. I mean, we have two ab zeros. You can play three, but he's not really our main focus in the deck. Uh, one is I don't know how to pronounce this, but basically he gains a hundred attack for each monster in your grave or elemental hero in your grave uh basically this is more for like uh well i don't know if you can chain it or super if you can activate super poly to ophion but um basically this is more for like if you're battling a dark deck or something so you can steal your opponent like basically these nova master and this one uh this one not as much but you know, it, it helps out with any decks that you're doing against that use dark monsters, so yeah, you can do that and it takes out like some key cards your opponent might use. Uh, Nova Master, one is definitely fine, it's more prone to if you're battling um, the Fire Fist and whatever. Now you can put in the, I think it's like Tempest, not Tempest. It's a wind elemental hero monster. It's pretty good to have opponent's monsters attack. Uh, the only thing I have to say about that is that there isn't too many wind based decks other than uh, Mecha Phantom Beast and uh, Gusto's but no one's playing Gustos from what I've seen. And, uh, Dragoonities are the other one, but that's pretty much all the, like, not too many people I've seen play those. They're mostly into, like, Fire Fist, which, that's for another story on something I'm thinking of right now. Uh, and there's the well, I haven't seen Atlantean, so maybe it doesn't ranked. I would see it more often. Uh, I don't know. Really, all I see is like Fire Fist and just random built decks. There was a rank 5 Exceed deck or some random Exceed deck, but you know, there's nothing really too much like 
like, uh, I don't know. I've seen spell books, which are light, which works with these, so it's kind of hard to say what elements you need, but there is the wind one if you need to replace it for the fire one. And the fire ones there just in case for the fire fist and stuff. Which is pretty nice to take out Tiger King or whatever his name is. Uh, three shining. Basically you run a lot of light monsters, pretty nice. But that's not anything in particular with this. Uh, oh, did I type out Miracle Fusion? Uh, one thing about oh, here, Miracle Fusion, you can uh, summon a you banish from your side of the field or the graveyard fusion materials for a elemental hero monster. So that's pretty nice. So anyway, so you would bring out uh, Shining. You get 300 for each if you're banished elemental heroes, and when discards into the graveyard, which discarded is tended to miss timing a lot of times, you can basically add two of your banished elemental heroes to your hand. Which is pretty nice. This card gets um, 3,200 attack when it's on the field because you banish two usually. And then you basically just attack and attack and then you add and then you fuse up again and stuff. So, uh, one blade armor can attack twice. This one is something that I actually saw in a video. But basically his thing is he he can prevent himself from destruction uh, by battle and if he does you gain 500 attack and you do 500 damage and that's permanent 500 attack so you get up to 3400 I think it is so it's pretty nice uh, cowboy cause you know cowboy uh, one is Scalibur you can run two, but one is fine. Uh, it's probably because we're playing skill drain, but anyways. Uh, you detach two and it becomes doubles attack. It's a go-to thing when you need to put some damage in. Uh, the Volvo Chain is pretty nice. You obviously can send a card to the grave or s put a monster on top of your deck, but you're mostly sending stuff to the grave. Uh, my stroke is my stroke. It flips stuff face down. Black ship of corn is pretty nice because it can spread out those weaker stuff that are annoying to get rid of. And Star Leech Paladynamo, where it makes a monster become zero attack and negates its effect. And if this card is destroyed, you get to draw a card. Pretty simple. Uh, I see a i seen in other deck recipes that they run 6 cents or whatever, but, you know, I don't want to really run banned stuff, like, in the game now. Uh, not really much to say, I guess. You can add the wind elemental hero, but that's up to you, and yeah, so I basically give this deck a 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10 thing. It, works as it should and yeah so anyways go ahead and leave your comments section down below tell me your thoughts what do you think of the deck what did you not like what did you change yada yada and i will catch you guys next time this is dragbox 55 signing out